Hey there, I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about the difference in some special three-dimensional shapes that a lot of students have trouble with and I don't want you to have any trouble with them. And these two shapes are the triangular prism and the pyramid. So, you know, a triangular prism has two triangular faces that are parallel. So this is a two-dimensional drawing of a triangular prism. And you know, I've put some videos online for you that kind of show what the triangular prism look like, looks like and breaks it down as to how to find the volume for it. So I wanna talk to you about the difference between that and a pyramid. You know, a pyramid can have either a rectangle, a square, or a triangle as its base, but it has triangular faces that touch up in the top of the shape which is called a vertex. So that's the difference. Look visually at the two-dimensional drawings. Triangular prism has two triangles that are parallel. They don't touch one another. And the pyramid has triangular faces that touch at the top. You know in my classroom I had a picture of the Egyptian pyramids that the Egyptians made thousands of years ago and their bases were all completely square. So since we're talking about volume, I thought it would know, be a good time to talk about how you find the volume of a pyramid. So if you remember throughout the week, we've talked about the volume formula for rectangular prisms being base area times the height, which is essentially length times width times height. We talked about the volume for a triangular prism, which is also base times height. But since the triangle is a base, you have to throw a one half in there. So with a pyramid, the formula has a one-third involved. So the volume would be one-third times the base area times the height. So let's say you have this given as your square base pyramid. Let's say I have a distance right here of five feet, a distance here of five feet, so that would make that be a square on the bottom. And let's say that I have a height given to me right there, and let's say that height of the pyramid is six feet. What I would do is I would plug those values in to this formula. So I would have one third. Now the base area would be, how do I find the base area of the square? Well, I have to multiply five times five. So I'm gonna write that out as five times five. That's the base area. Then the height would be the height of the pyramid. That is six. And even if you were given these lateral leg lengths, you wouldn't even need it because all you have to do is multiply the base area times the height of the pyramid. Okay, so now I'm going to work this out. I'm going to leave my one-third out there, and I'm going to do my associative property right here first. Actually, I'm going to go right here and multiply that stuff out. It gives me 25. Multiply that by 6. All right, so I'm working this out, 25 times 6, doing me a little math over there, 12 plus 150. So now I've got one-third out front, and I've multiplied these two together to get 150. So to finish this up, I would do volume is equal to one-third times 150, which you know when you multiply by unit fraction, you're really just multiplying by 3. So this answer would be 50. And since it's volume, it's three-dimensional, it would give me feet to the third power. And I'm going to read that as 50 cubic feet. All right, that's how you find the volume of any pyramid. So I want you to feel free to stop this video and go back and watch it again if you need to. Okay.